Yeah, I don't have no beef with that dude at all. I just, I just responded to something that he said. That's all. And back at him, he said. I said a joke. Um, you know, just aiming back at him. He said, and his reason for blocking me was to say that I was, that I'm misogynistic and. All of that corny ass shit. I don't think people understand, like, I think cucks. See, the problem with cucks is <laughs> they dead ass. If you don't agree with, with Dada Tree, Thirst Traps, and women who degrade themselves for money. then I guess you're looked at as misogynistic. And I guess when, you know, when your significant other is somebody who likes to risk a, you know, parade around and risk a clothing for likes and shit like that, you have no choice but to accept it. Now, see me, I'm never, and I would never accept a woman who needed to parade around in finicky clothing for self-validation. I just... I couldn't do it. Hold on. I understand how some people could probably think that I'm like some mysterious homophobe when I'm not. Or some people might think I could be this misogynistic guy that attacks women. But I keep saying this, I don't attack women as a whole. I attack a certain, and I don't even attack. I share my opinions about a certain type of women. That's what I do. I respect women. I don't respect the types that are trapped in that category. You know, you know how chicks say there's, oh man, there's no good men out there or men. This, I can't stand that type of man. It's a fuck boy, blah, blah, blah. Or, oh my gosh, fuck, fuck boys. See, when women are talking about that specific, that specific type of person, they're not talking about all men. They're talking about a specific type of man. When a woman says, I'm not fucking with no fuck boys, or I'm not fucking with no scrubs, no broke niggas, they're not talking about, they're not talking about men in general. They're talking about a certain type of man. So me, when I'm going at these thoughts on Twitter and making little slick remarks and everything like that, me, I'm going after a certain type of woman. <clears throat> See me, I'm not gonna sit over here as a man and fool myself and act like it's okay for chicks to parade around, you know, promiscuously and flaunting this, flaunting that for likes, followers and retweets. And, and I just can't do it. Any man that accepts that, you're a cuck. And it has nothing to do. It has nothing to do with being insecure. You know how people, you know, how chicks, a, a thoughts, a thoughts um, defense mechanism when you don't like what they're doing is going to be you're insecure. Or, oh, my God, you're misogynistic. You're insecure. Let me tell you something. It's not that, baby. I'm far from insecure. I just don't respect what you do. And when something pops up on my timeline, it's just annoying. You know what I'm saying? And people send me shit all the time. Now, if you want to be out there thotting around, twerking, sucking, fucking, licking, glurping, I mean, do you, but I'm not going to respect it. I will never, I will never respect a, a woman acting like that ever. Now, if, let's just say if I grew up with my mom being a thought and I was seeing her twerking and dating a bunch of niggas and all that type of shit, I probably would be fooled into thinking that's how women are supposed to act. But me, always had a mom with class. So I never seen that type of shit, period. So me, I'm not gonna grow up thinking it is okay for bitches to be thoughts and to be, you know, setting thirst traps, showing cleavage ass, doing the same shit every other bitch is doing on social media right now. So no, I'm not misogynistic. 
That would mean I just didn't respect women at all. I just don't respect a certain type. If you got to use your flesh for, for gain, you're a thought. And if you're a man that accepts that, you're a cuck. There is no, oh, my nigga, you just got to let these bitches be them, my nigga. Like, that ain't even a part of it. Like, shit, it's not even supposed to affect you if you're a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? Or, nah, bro, like, you just got to let your girl be her. Like, nah, it's not even that big of a deal. You're going to have to let a woman be her. Which is true. You do have to let a woman be her, but I don't got to fuck with you. Any man that accepts his woman showing ass showing tits on social media setting thirst traps i don't care who you are what type of blue checks you got how many followers you got you are a cuck you know how many people i see on instagram these fake ass celebrity couples and shit like that not even they're not even celebs instagram famous niggas or instagram popular we're not gonna call you famous instagram popular people you click on their page it's talking about yeah me and my wife blah 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 you click on the wife page she busting it open fucking wearing you know, all types of risque photos, cleavage, ass. I'm like, damn, these niggas are straight cucks. Like me, that's why you don't go after a chick that parades herself on social media like that. Because if you go after a chick that's already doing that, you're not allowed to go in their life and try to change them. Now me, if I went after a chick, like if I was trying to date a chick, went after a girl, slid in her DMs because of the thirst trap, photos and videos and shit she was posting who am i to get upset about it but if i met you a certain way and now you want to start thirst trapping it up and shit like that i nah we couldn't do that mm -hmm.